Hi there, welcome back. Now I have a really big problem in summer. My bedroom faces west and in the afternoon I get that western sun hammering in there and even at 8.30 at night it's still at 29 degrees Celsius. So I've been looking for a way to close my curtains in the afternoon to stop some of that sunlight coming in. So I came across this really cool solution from Zemismart. It's an automated track, curtain track. And today we're gonna to have a look at it and I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to set it up, and I'll give you my feedback at the end. Just to say a big thank you to Zemismart. They were kind enough to send me this device free of charge, but this is by no means a sponsored video and they have absolutely no control over what I'm about to say. So the Smart Matter Thread Motorized Splicing Curtain Kit is selling at $126.92 US, which I think is pretty cost effective when you compare it to Smart Blinds. Now, this is supplied in either a Matter over Thread or Matter over Wi-Fi version. I have the Matter over Wi-Fi version. The new Zemi Smart Motors are really compact, being 80 by 65 by 50. They have a generic power supply, they have a set button, indicator light, as well as a lower power voltage interface, which can be used directly integrated with other systems. They have a customized track system that allows you to make up whatever length you desire. They're compatible with Apple Home, Amazon, Google, SmartThings, and of course, Home Assistant. It also includes a remote control, the motor is super strong with up to a 50 kilogram load capacity, so you're virtually unlimited with what type of curtains you choose. The motor can run off anything from 100 up to 240 volts and is 60 watts power rated. The tracks can either be mounted within the window frame or outside the window frame, and they can be mounted either on a horizontal or a vertical surface. So having a look at the picture on the box, you can see we've got the motor on the one side and then we've got a section of runners or hooks. Inside we have our instruction guides. Then we have two long sections of rail. So these are our main sections and then we have another section which is broken up into various pieces. So you use your two long pieces and then you add on whichever sections you need to make up the rail to the length that you need. Along with that, we've got some mounting brackets. We've got the green belt that actually drives the runners up and down. We've got the master drive along with the power cable. We've got our remote control, our drive motor, our secondary hub, and we've got our curtain runners. Having a close look at the aluminum extrusion, it's nice and solid. Down each side here, we have a channel. This is where the drive belt runs. And in the center over here, this is where your curtain runners go. So the first thing is to do is to take these sections of aluminium and work out how many sections you need to make the width of your curtains. Once you've worked that out, take these joining pieces and slide them together, connect them up using the joining pieces. They only go one direction and then you take the supplied Allen key and you just screw these little grub screws in over here like that Next, we need to cut two lengths of green belt. So select the belt, measure it along the length of the track, and then add either 11 centimeters or 22 teeth to the end. Next, fix the belt buckle at one end of the first belt and fix it in place with the little clip provided. Now select the runner, make sure that you select the correct runner as there are two types and then pull it right the way through so that the belt is running all the way along the one side. Now connect a belt buckle to the other belt that you've cut, fix it in place with the little clip and then pull the other runner from the other side. Next install the sub gearbox, run the belt through the sub gearbox connect the belt buckle with the clip and then select the other type of runner and place it the correct way around into the track. Now do the same thing with the master gearbox, running the belt through the box, attaching the belt buckle and then selecting the runner. Make sure that you have it the correct way around and slide it into the track. Next, take one of the long screws and connect the two runners together. Do this again on the other side. 
Next, fix the clip which will install the curtains or allow them to be connected. Use the two screws provided to screw them into the back plate. Do the same on the other side. Remember that one will be facing the one way and the other will be facing the other way and this will allow the curtains to overlap slightly when you close them to make sure that you don't have a gap between the two curtains. Next, install the runners. Make sure that you have the same number of runners on either side. Now fix the master gearbox in place with the tensioner. Make sure that it's in the middle of its movement so that the whole assembly can move up and down smoothly. Now connect the other fastener. You can either fix the rail directly to the ceiling or the top of the window using the bracket, or you can use the extension bracket as shown, which you connect up using two screws and nut. I mounted these up against the wall like this, and then I just clip the rail into the spring-loaded clips. To pair the remote control with the motor, just press the little pairing button on the motor, the green light to pair the device with your home assistant, all I did was press the pairing button three times, scan the QR code, and the blinds connected. Within Home Assistant, we have the open, stop, and close controls, as can be expected with blinds. The curtains open super smoothly, and I was pretty impressed with the noise levels as well. So in summary, I think this is a really cost-effective way of automating your curtains. It's a really smooth, solid way of controlling even really heavy curtains, and the motor seems really good quality. One thing I did find with mine was I had the S-type curtain runners, and what I found was that it wasn't completely opening all of the pleats of my curtain. But then I found that Zemismart actually has a solution for that. You can buy a certain type of curtain runner, which actually has a little wire connected between each of the runners, which solves this problem. So I'll be ordering some of those to finish off my installation. Let me know what you're doing in the way of automating your curtains or blinds at home. I'll be fascinated to know. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.